What is up guys? Trust and Truth here with some Black Ops gameplay. This is on the map Hanoi and I'm using the stakeout with its only obvious attachment, the grip. The, the rest of my class I think is lightweight, sleight of hand, marathon, they're all pro, uh, concussion grenade, semtex, and 2C4. So it's obviously just a pure rush class. On the C4 C4 in this game, I don't really take use of that much. I hate having to hit the D-pad up to, to bring it out to then to throw it again. It's like an extra step that's not included in MW2 and MW3. For that reason, for that that makes seems to make all the difference when you're using C4. Because I have to constantly think about it. So I choose to, I really pulled out the throw. As for the shotguns and black ops, here's my first failed game. I should have just went after this guy. But as for the first, as for the shotguns and black ops, I don't really find them all to be that great. I think the sposs is the only one that really is pretty solid. The stakeout for me is really inconsistent with hit markers. I try to aim down sights. I always aim down sights, like a quick scope with like a sniper with the shotgun. I've always done that with pump action shotguns. So that's what I do with the stakeout, and I've, I've heard that the stakeout really benefits from aiming down sights compared to hip firing it. That's really why I don't use steady aim much either, because I've always found steady aim to be useless to me. Also, I, I, the one thing I hate about Black Ops shotguns is the lack of attachments. Like I said, the stakeout, here's how to fail with the shotgun. If you want to learn how to not shoot a pump action, that's it. But the stakeout only has the grip on it. And the other shotguns only have one attachment each except the Olympia. So I think that really hurts. It hurts using the shotguns, at least for me. I got a few long range shotgun kills here, but I think for the most part at times, I was overestimating the range of the, the stakeout. I would fire from way back and I wouldn't even get a hit marker and I was pretty sure that I was accurate enough with it. So I just think it was me being too far away from the enemy. But as I used the stakeout, this gameplay here, I was thinking about possible setups and classes for Black Ops 2 using a shotgun or a rush class. And like I said, I'm not a huge shotgun user. If I use them in MW3, I always use them with overkill. I think actually they had three classes of overkill and they all had shotguns matched with an assault rifle. Black Ops, the Black Ops 1 doesn't give you the option of overkill, or I would have <clears throat> used a shotgun in that method. Here's a nice four piece coming up. But I used the, <clears throat> in, in Black Ops 2 I was thinking about using the SMR as an assault rifle with target finder. So that would be my long range semi-automatic weapon. And then I would use the R870 shotgun with a laser sight as my backup. For any time I got into close range engagements. That there though would already take 5 points of your pick 10 system. So I think I'm going to be very limited to how many times I use overkill in uh, Black Ops 2. I'd imagine only once. Now I'm a big fan of overkill but <clears throat> I can't justify using 5 or 4 points alone on using overkill for 2, assault, two uh, primary weapons. The other thing I was going to use with that class was... Fast Hands and Dead Silence. I was going to skip out on the whole perk one uh, perk altogether. Finding that none of them really fit that style of that class for me. I was also going to use a Bouncing Betty and then two Shock Charges which would fulfill the last three points of the 10 point system. Both of those, the Bouncing Betty and the Shock Charges, would sort of be to go along with my SMR as a more defensive role. And the fast hands would be re is really important for deploying those faster as it's the equivalent to Quick Draw Pro from MW3. Also the fast hands is increased weapon swap, which is big if you're carrying two assault rifle, I mean two primaries around. Watch here as I prowl on him like a lion to get this kill around the corner. But then I will be able to switch faster between the SMR <clears throat> and the shotgun. And if I was going to create a class like I did here for Black Ops just for fun, running around like I did for the, the stakeout, I would make a rush class with the R870 again, the pump action shotgun, 
because the pump action seemed to be my favorite. I would also use uh, lightweight, fast hands, and extreme conditioning, so it's very similar to this one. The only key difference here is I think I have the ballistic knife on this class. I won't be using the ballistic knife in Black Ops 2. I'm terrible. I'm terrible with it. So in Black Ops 2 with my shotgun class, I wouldn't use any uh, secondary. I don't think I'd just go around picking up someone secondary. I find that I do that a lot anyway, as it is. I would also use 2C4 with the Danger Close wild card, so that'll take up three points. And then this time use two concussion grenades as they'll help more with a rush rather than shock charges. I think being able to throw the 2C4 around will be a lot easier if you use them with just the right bumper in Black Ops 2. <clears throat> so I think that they will go perfect. So here's an example of my C4 in Black Ops. Fails all around. And once again, fast hands will be really important here. Not so much with the weapon swap but rather with deploying the C4 and the concussion grenades as fast as possible. As you can see, the game's coming to an end here. I think I end up finishing 28-9, which isn't too bad. I had better gameplays, but this one right here was the best for me. And you can see I get a quick pan and I end it. Thank you for watching. Trust in the truth, out.